Hi, aren't you tired of having to configure every interface one by one? Well, in this particular example, I'll be demonstrating how to use the interface range command to apply the same VLAN configuration to multiple interfaces. For this example, I'll be using interfaces G001, 2, and 3. And I want to be able to validate that that information gets pushed to each one of those interfaces. So with that being said, I'll go ahead and bring up the CLI of my VSRX. I'll move into the edit tier. And first off, I'll go ahead and create a VLAN. Uh, so set, in this case, I'm using my VSRX as a router. So I'm going to configure a bridge domain as a VLAN. And this, this bridge domain will be called data. I'll give it the VLAN ID of 10. And I'll hit enter. So now what I'll do is I'll issue the command set interfaces, interface. And I'll give it a question mark right here. Okay, it looks like I've specified it simple enough. So interface range. I'll now define what the name of this range is. What am I gonna call this group of interfaces that I'm grouping together? So I'll name it data. Since that's the name of the VLAN that these interfaces will be participating in. All right, so next, out of the various options that can be applied here, I'm focusing in on these two. And I'll start off by using the member range command. I want to gather all of the interfaces. So I'll do a member dash range. I'll hit a question mark. And so now I'm going to specify the start of the range, which is going to be 001, two, specify the two parameter. And then I'll specify the end of the range, which is going to be GE003 in my case. So I'll hit enter. And so far, just to see where we're at, I'll do a show interfaces just to see what the configuration looks like. All right, so I have the three interfaces that I want to participate in this group. Now I'll go ahead and configure the parameters that I want these interfaces to inherit. So I'll issue the command set. Well, actually, I'll hit the up arrow to tap back to that interface range. And I'll backspace all the way up until I get to member. And I'll type in unit zero. For each one of these interfaces, I want to configure the family as a bridge. And the interface mode of these interfaces will be an access. I'll hit the up arrow, backspace to interface mode. And I want the VLAN ID, let's see, VLAN ID to be 10. With that in place, I'll go ahead and issue a commit and quit. All right, so that's completed. To validate that these interfaces are now configured and functioning as access ports for VLAN 10, I'll issue the command show bridge domain. And boom, I can see each one of those ports show up in respect to that particular VLAN. Another way that I can verify that these interfaces receive the configuration from the interface range command is if I issue a show interfaces here we can see I have no configuration listed for the individual interfaces. However, if I was to issue the command show interface, pike, display, inheritance, up, oh, let me go back and specify an actual interface here, ge-0 slash 0 slash 1 for instance, I can see that it inherited it each one of these parameters. So that's a nice way to validate that the configuration was inherited on that actual interface. So what I'll do now that we had that in place is I will do a show interfaces once again. And I'm going to delete the member range and I'm going to utilize the member option. So I'll do a delete interface, this is interface range data member range ge dash zero slash zero slash one to g dash zero slash zero slash three so i've deleted those members and just to keep us all on the same page all right so that's gone now let's say i want to configure multiple interfaces to be grouped together but they're not necessarily in numerical ordering well i can achieve this by utilizing the member command and what I'll do for this example is I will make interface GE001 and GE003 participate in this group. However, I don't want 
interface GE002 to participate in this group. So I'll do a set interfaces, interface range, data, member, and I'll simply specify the interface. It's so simple. If I give it a show interfaces, it's just to see what that looks like. I see I have my two members specified. I'll go ahead and give that a commit and quit. All right, and now I'll take a look at my bridge domain. And boom, only the desired ports receive that configuration. So it's, it's an incredibly useful tool. But one other thing to note in regards to using the interface range command is that it only takes precedence if there is no specific configuration on the interface itself. For instance, I'll move back into the edit tier mode. Since we already have interface GE001 configured for VLAN 10, I'll just give you an example of how this would work. So I'll go ahead and configure set interface GE-0 slash 0 slash 1 unit 0 family bridge interface mode access. And I'll hit the up arrow and I'll swap this out and make this VLAN ID 50. And I'll issue a commit and quit. And now even though interface GE001 was configured as an access port for VLAN 10 in the group configuration, this interface level configuration is gonna take precedence and we'll be able to see that it no longer shows up for VLAN 10. So show bridge domain. And here we can only see interface GE-0 slash 0 slash 3. All right, well, I hope you found this video informative. If you did, go ahead and smash that like button and subscribe to the channel to stay tuned for future videos. Also, let me know down in the comments what videos you'd be interested in seeing posted to the channel. As always, thanks for viewing, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.